name is Hope Bohannock, and I'm the Grassroots Campaigns Director for In Defense of Animals. And uh, I want to talk today about a very unique campaign that IDA has, and it's called the Guardian Campaign. And uh, basically, it's very simple. We are just wanting people to use the term animal guardian instead of animal owner. Uh, it's that simple, yet it's a huge paradigm shift. Um, you know, we really feel that this can have positive effects on our relationship to animals. We will instill a greater sense of respect, responsibility, and compassion towards our animal friends. Um, throughout history, language has really been at the forefront of social movements. Uh, every successful political and social movement in our nation's history has uh, realized the power of language. You know, our word choices define not only what we believe in, um, and, you know, but also what we want to be, who we want to be as individuals, as a society. Uh, our word choices convey our underlying values and where we hope to progress. So, and I'm sure uh, most have heard this uh, uh, quote from Gandhi, that a greatness, uh, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Well, as our language is now, we own other sentient beings. Um, you know, this is really equivalent to slavery. Uh, white men don't own other men. Men don't own their women and children anymore. Um, animals, it's just a natural extension of this thinking. Um, you know, it's the logical extension to recognize them as sentient beings deserving to be free of oppression. You know, you own a car or a nightstand. You don't own your animal. Um, they're like children. We need to protect them. They, we are their guardians. Owners are free to dispose of their property whenever they choose. Um, guardians recognize animals as individuals, not objects. I think that most of us would agree that owner just isn't the, the right term, you know, when we're thinking about our animal friends. Um, so this moral shift uh, in thinking can really help animals to be elevated above mere property, objects, or things to be bought and sold. Uh, as people learn to think and act as guardians, um, they will be less likely to abuse and abandon their animals. Uh, guardians will spay and neuter. Guardians give, give proper medical attention. Um, guardians adopt and they rescue. They don't buy or sell. They speak out against puppy mills and dog fighting. They're mo more likely to be dedicated to a lifetime of respect, care, and compassion for their animal uh, friends. Changing one's language is representing, uh, uh, to represent oneself as a guardian rather than an owner or a master will demonstrate a respectful, compassionate viewpoint and show others that animals are not ours to abuse, neglect, and abandon, but to be cherished and protected. Our goal at IDA is to make a uh, guardian a household term. Uh, we're reaching out to shelters, rescue groups, uh, encouraging them to use this language. Uh, we're reaching out to celebrities, journalists, um, others in the media, getting this language into uh, our households and our, and our um, uh, regular language, regular speaking. Uh, reaching out to schools, educational programs. Um, we offer a Guardian Award for people that are doing exceptional or outstanding work for animals. Uh, as for someone that's done some heroic and exceptionally wonderful thing for animals. So uh, if you know someone who has been an outstanding guardian, you can let us know and you could possibly honor them with a Guardian Award. Uh, we're also creating Guardian Cities. So we're changing the language of, of the city ordinances uh, to reflect guardian instead of owner. Um, some have opted to put guardian slash owner. Um, we've already affected this change, and this, so it would be in the, in the city um, ordinances as well as adoption papers at shelters, wherever the term owner is in any official city document, it would say guardian. And we've already affected this change in 18 cities, two uh, counties, and in the entire state of Rhode Island. <laughs> So, and just to let you know, the language change, it's, it's not a legal change. The term owner and guardian are legally interchangeable. So, it's not a, 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 a legal shift, however, it's really a shift in consciousness. 
So anyone that might be interested in getting their city to be a guardian city uh, doesn't take much. Um, just let me know and we can maybe work on your city to be a guardian city. And before I close, I'd also like to encourage the use of uh, the terms he and she instead of it. Yes. Um, you know, ships and hurricanes have universally been called she. <laughs> Yet we generally call a cow or a pig or a, 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 a monkey or a dog it. Um, perhaps subconsciously attaching the word it to an animal makes it easier to deny their suffering, uh, their feelings, making it easier to exploit them. You know, it's easier to eat, wear, or experiment on an it rather than a he or a she. So, you know, it's are, are things to be owned. Uh, the day of owning sentient beings should be over. Um, the importance of language just cannot be overstated. It affects how we think and how we act and the gentle beings who ask so little and give back so much love and loyalty to deserve the respect, protection, and care that the term guardian represents. And a just and compassionate world can begin with language. So I encourage you, if you do nothing else, from the, if you get nothing else from this weekend or do, do make no other uh, uh, actions from this weekend, at least please change uh, your language to guardian and share that with your friends and family. Thank you.